I'm really not sure if I'm looking into things way too much, but I'm certainly asking questions. But anyway, we need to pass his desire from the latest memory to the earliest, so let's see what we can do. Starting, obviously, with, well, basically, line up two matching mementos on the edge to transfer the rage to desire. Okay, and I'd say that would be like that, I guess. Uh, which means uh, jar of pickles. Huh. Okay, Cl clearly we need the rabbit on this side. So this one has to go all the way over here. But that's a link between these. But not a link be between these, which means you need to go one further. You need to go one further. That's the link from oldest to a little bit younger. Then we've got the link for the rabbits. In a little bit. There we go. Awesome. And platypus or bag. Which I'm... No? Um... Okay, now I'm confused. Now I'm confused. Give me a moment, this needs some figuring out. Hey, Eva, check this out! Oh, nom nom Really? Are you kidding me? Neil? Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> okay. Um, so much for that. I am still trying to make the connections, which more often than not is more difficult than it seems. Like, okay, I can do this. I could connect the book to the younger part over here, but that means I'm not dealing with the clock. Okay, apparently it does work like this. I'm overthinking stuff. But even so, we make the connection right now. What about that youngest era? Ding! That's about all of the ones we can work with. Yeah. But I'm still curious about that younger one, really. Something is off. Ready to pull the switch? You know me, always ready. It doesn't feel right to leave the youngest parts abandoned like this. Uh, did it work? Alright, let's go check out what souvenirs he brought back from the moon. Ladies first? Wait, so it already happened now? Not this time, hun. Um... Okay, I am ever so slightly confused. Just saying. Because where do we need to go now? Just to his oldest memory? Or... This is the same setting as his real last accessible memory. Usually, there's at least some change. Something isn't right. Yeah, it's a bit dark. These memories... They feel more than just having happened again. They are... Exactly the same. And that's not natural. That's... Impossible! The desire was transferred, was it not? It was. Then what went wrong? I mean, if the desire was transferred and everything still looks the same. I mean, we're still dealing with the simulation in the end, so... It is the exact same as when we first met him. Johnny? The exact same. Oh, what a 
pleasant surprise. We don't get many visitors around here. Deja vu again. My name is Dr. Eva Rosaline, and this is... Don't do it. What? I'm not saying it twice. I was expecting you to. Let's just say that. You've set expectations, Neil. Uh, Dr. Neil Watts. Are you familiar with the Sigmund Agency of Life Generation? Oh, are you two from the agency? You're seriously telling me that everything we've done has not changed anything. How is that possible? How convenient. I've just been thinking of calling you. Lily, get us some tea, please. The exact bloody same. Lily? What is going on? Freeze him too. What's happening? Why? Well... Wait here. I'll go send the desire signal again. To see if there are any changes. I fear there won't be any. It transferred successfully for sure. Any changes? None at all, Eva. Not even a hair. How could this be? How could this be? Even if his desire doesn't work alone, why is there no change at all? Uh, perhaps... Perhaps it just needs some provoking to activate. From his early memories? Uh, the earliest we can get to. Let's go. Yeah, I'm not certain about this. Like, why wouldn't it work? Johnny's desire to go to the moon might need some stimulation to be brought up, huh? Well then. How about a movie of going to the moon? What the? This wasn't what they said was playing? Oh well. I mean, a movie is a movie. Do you mind, River? No. I like this one. Alright, let's go then. Weird. Hopefully that's enough for an ignition. Well... We'll have to wait and see. Wait, where is Neil? Is good question. Where did Where did Neil go? Did you see to the moon? How was it? Eh, it has a bit too much pretense for me. I prefer my moves to be a bit more. Or oh, je ne sais quoi. Okay... Weird... Okay, I'm honestly confused as to what is going on. Where is Neil? Can I go in? Where is Neil? I need to traverse through John to check the results. Okay, uh... To the platypus, or...? To the moon, darling! Oh, Henry! What? Oh, dear lord. I'm way too tired and hungry to be constructing movies. I guess I should go see if anything changed with John. Well, if that was the movie, I'm not entirely sure if this is going to ignite any desires to go to the moon. Uh, anyway, uh... Through John, I guess. Uh, sorry for making you sit through this, buddy. Well, they will remember. They will remember a horrible movie. Where is? Where is Neil? It's all the same. 
Uh, let's try igniting it somewhere else then. This is ridiculous. Huh. Okay, how in that case? Okay, through John to try somewhere else. Yeah. Uh, can I move you out of the way? Thank you. L Lily? Yeah, we are invisible. God, this is so weird. Perhaps something here could work. I mean... You said traveling to the earliest memory possible. The movie wasn't the earliest, so... Something here could work. Maybe the book that she's reading. I don't have time for her right now. Well, you could change the book and maybe it would interest John. Maybe. So, did she throw an encyclopedia in your face? Huh? Did she? Oh, shut up, dude. What are you guys doing here? It's starting. Let's go get a good spot. Wait. I don't remember that happening. Something must have changed. But how? I mean, this was before we asked Lily... Uh, no, not Lily. River. Before we asked River out. And we only changed the movie part, so... Um... Hey, don't squeeze! Okay, this is weird. Why did this change? Honestly... Normally you would get three guesses, but in this case there is only one possible thing responsible. The end justifies the means, huh? Wait a minute. This isn't the real change, this is... May I have your attention, please? Really? As you know, I am a representative sent from NASA in all its glory. Really, Neil? I mean, if it works. Sure, but... And I am here to tell you all about it. Hit it, Timmy! This is not... Yeah, exactly. Wow, that was terrible. This is not going to... Uh, uh, but I digress. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, I know that many of you are wondering... What changes do I have of doing something as awesome as adventuring in another realm? Or what chances? Oh, to inhale the sweetness of Venus, to swim counterclockwise through the rings of Saturn... You're just making this up as you go along, aren't you? Or perhaps just chilling at the backside of the moon. Yeah, rub it in with the moon. Well, here at NASA, we believe that with enough will, everyone has the potential. It could be you. Or you. Or perhaps... You. Yeah, totally you, Johnny. But I don't want to go to the moon. Why do you wish to go to the moon at your old age? Why is that your wish? Then you're in luck. Wait, what? Why not? Why should I? I'm happy here on Earth as it is. Well... Don't you want to go there even a little bit? No? Why? Not even a tiny bit? Uh, no? Yeah. Now what? Well, as an official NASA recruiter, I shall go over some facts about the moon. <laughs> this is not going to work, Neil. How to start off, the moon is 4.5 billion years old. And it keeps on going and going and going. You're not making anyone interested. And did you know that its surface is about as big as Africa? Really? It's true. In fact, if you try to bike around the moon... Why do I have a feeling this is not true? Also, it takes 1.24... Uh, 247 seconds for light to travel to the moon from here. 
And if you drive a flying car, it takes 130. There are no flying cars. I knew that, obviously. <laughs> and last but not least, people who go to the moon get rich and famous. And we all know that rich plus famous equals groupies. So, that concludes my presentation. Uh, really, it sucked. Remember, NASA welcomes any of you. Especially if you're a brunette. Obviously, come on. Well, what did you think? I thought the idea started interesting, but you kind of messed it up, like, in the first second. NASA probably wouldn't hire you, but I suppose it was blatant enough for this. Hmm, I did try pretty hard. Are you gonna go see if that worked? Of course, I'll be right back. And nothing. Back. Reports. Utter failure. Ah, <sighs> deuce. Hey, don't get discouraged. I'm sure there are still things to be done. I mean, like what? Such as? Well... Uh... Oh god, this can't ever go well. We can't afford to finish building this house, Isabel. We can barely afford to pay for- But you can afford the Lunar Trip Lottery! If you sell this house, you sure can! I'm sorry, are we going through all these memories to forcefully insert the idea of going to the moon, even in the most inappropriate situations right now? I mean, how far does the end justify the means go? Is this diagnosis certain? Yes, in fact, we really see anyone. Did you know that NASA has excellent healthcare plans? Really? It's true, for both you and your spouse. Yeah, this is beginning to look a little bit messed up right now. Free pony rides in space! Oh, look, a wedding! Good for you! Uh, but here's a riddle. Guess where you should go for your the honeymoon? Oh, God. Yeah, this is not going to work. River? Wrong place. Ah, dang, now it glass slippery. Johnny, John, John. Yeah, totally not creepy. What the cucumber? <laughs> oh. Ah, oh, you know what? This just isn't working. Oh, it's more than just not working. It's ridiculous. We're freaking professionals. I didn't sign up the job to run around yelling at him like an idiot. You didn't? Well, you did. Oh, look, maybe this lack of sleep's getting to us. I don't know, we'd be an all-nighter. I would have brought coffee. I agree. You should have seen the movie I constructed earlier. What movie? Oh, you don't want to know. It was horrible. Exactly. Anyway, as valuable as time is here, this just isn't going anywhere like this. Oh, let's take a break till morning. Hopefully Johnny can hang on till then. I do have some calls to make. But the question is, why did all of this fail? Like, if this would normally work... Why not now? It 
doesn't make sense. Why did the machine have no effect? Johnny's relish relish a wish to go to the moon was successfully transferred, yet... There wasn't even a trace of him wanting to go to the moon after the transfer. Unless... Unless a secondary condition for the desire was changed in the process. Only then would the same desire produce two different outcomes at two different points in time. It has to be linked to River. But there's no denying that River played an important role through it all. If there's anything that could have caused the core to change, she would be the top su suspect. But out of all things, what exactly caused it? River. Just what exactly did you do? Now that is the question. Uh, the sun's rising. Oh, we don't have much time left. I wonder if Neil came up with anything. Well, I hope you find something, but with all we've tried up until now, being subtle, being just as obvious as God knows. Uh, you can smell that squirrel, Neil, around over all the way from here now. Oh, great. And I mean, that's quite a distance away. Oh boy. Okay, where would Neil be? And also, right now I am kind of curious. Why was I able to do this? Turn on and store tap, tap water. Yay, I did that. Now what? There's no reason. Uh, I'll go look for Neil. And the funny room is still funny. But we now know at least where the music box sort of came from, but... Uh, still creepy. But Ma, I don't want to go to school. It's Sunday, dear. Shh, let him sleep. Ah, adorable. Uh, Place books on the shelf. Okay, we didn't read it last time. Can I read it? Uh, maybe another year. <laughs> maybe. Uh, the Pilgrim's Guide to Origami. Volume 1, the key to avoiding paper cuts. Um, the Pilgrim's Guide to Origami has already supplanted the Great Wikipedia Origami as a standard repository of all knowledge and wisdom about paper folding. For though it has many omissions and contains much that is apocryphal or whatever, or at least wildly inaccurate, it scores over the older, more pedestrian work in two important respects. First, it's made of paper. And secondly, it provides numerous band-aids to make up for the inevitable paper cuts resulting from reading this book. Yeah, I'm curious. <laughs> for the Grand Origami Master, it is absolutely essential for each origami to be complete in exactly 42 moves. In most origami tournaments, scissor cuts are considered cheating, but uppercuts are deemed legal. Really? <laughs> ah, sigh. Well, fine. But not what we're looking for. So, how are you doing? I really should have watched those two last night. They were up late. And they ran all the way over to the lighthouse and basically, yeah. Well, it's not an everyday circumstance. I suppose. Oh, was there something you wanted to ask? Yeah. Um. What about you? Uh, you know, it's pretty unusual for someone like you to work here. 
With two children and all, I mean. No, it's not that bad, really. There's a school bus that passes through here. But how did you even end up here? Well, a few years ago, my husband passed away. What happened? He was in the army. They were the last batch to be deployed overseas. I'm sorry to hear. I panicked. Our savings were low and the job market was grim. Johnny saw my ad and offered me this job and I accepted with gratitude. This place was peaceful, too. It helped me with my grieving. Doesn't the government issue grants to war widows to help get them back on their feet? Oh, they do, and eventually I received aid. But by then, Johnny was starting to have trouble on his own. He needed my help. Tommy and Sarah liked this place too, and so we stayed. As for Johnny, he was glad as well. We're going to miss him. I think, deep down, he really wants the family. Uh, so what about Tommy and Sarah in that case? So, what are you going to tell them about John? I mean, they've been here for two years, sort of, now. If John is gone, that's going to hurt them, too, quite badly. I... I don't know. I'll probably make something up, but it's of no use. Kids are smart nowadays. They'll figure it out. Might as well. It's the nature of life. There's nothing to hide. Uh, so, what are you going to do in the future? I mean, this is Johnny's house. Can you stay here? I mean... Who does he leave this house to? Uh, this is your full-time job, isn't it? What will you do when this is over? What else is there to do? To find a job in the city and live on, I suppose? It's a shame, though. I'm going to miss Johnny in this place. Maybe I'll come back to visit every once in a while? Maybe. <sighs> well, I guess that was it. Oh, was there something you wanted to ask? Uh, no, no more questions. Thank you. Uh. Oh, hey! Uh, before Johnny fell unconscious, he told me that you two would probably be coming soon. He said that he probably wouldn't get the chance himself, but... He wanted me to tell you thanks for him. So, thank you. We're doing our best. Uh, even as as of right now, we're kind of failing. Neil? Hmm. What is it? It seems like our little Johnny here has some hidden records from the old days. Okay. Hidden records? Hidden medical records, to be exact. Uh... Okay. Apparently, during his youth, he was administered a large dose of enhanced beta blockers. When? How young was he? And what luck, they tend to have this little side effect on a curious thing called... Memories. Which is why we couldn't pass. Beta blockers. Johnny didn't have a heart condition, did he? Apparently not. Which leads one to wonder. If the side effects were intended to be merely just that to begin with. And in such a large amount. Its impact on his memories at the time of administration must have been significant. Significant enough to be a total miss. You think that's what kept us out of his earliest memories? Oh, I'm pretty sure it is. Well, it's not the machine, I'll tell you that. 
The maintenance department yelled at me for scolding them. So, what now? Can we find a way past? I was just giving the reconfiguration frequencies. That should get us past the blockers. And once we're in his childhood, it might finally be early enough to transfer his desire for it to work. I hope. Then what are we waiting for? Uh, just one thing. Of course, there's always that one thing. In order to activate the new frequencies, we'll need a trigger. A trigger? There's something that exists strongly in the bridging, inaccessible memory. And we'll need to give it to John for him to stimulate his memory internally. But what do we know of that? We've only gotten a glimpse of his childhood memories. And even if we find a childhood photo or something, John's unconscious. Yeah, back to square one. Ah, uh, you know... This job hasn't been such a pain in the ass for me since Nora's case last year. Uh, likewise. Oh, this is killing me. I'm going to, out to get some fresh air. Uh, well, so much for fresh air. Um, I forgot my coffee. <laughs> really? Ah, uh, really. Okay, note beta blocker. Not really sure about those, but... A drug with the side effect of dampening memories by interfering with stress hormones. Interesting. Uh, also... Eh, this is not looking great. It's not green anymore. Oh, we are running out of time. Ah, oh boy. The last paper rabbit gave to John. We still don't know. Ah, oh boy. Um, yeah, I guess we're going outside. Maybe. Uh, so... Yeah. Maybe I should have warned you. With us now having renewed hope of re-entering Johnny's old memories. The mystery behind this origami rabbit and the wish to go to the moon will hopefully be unraveled. But that leaves a new question. Why were those beta blockers taken?